Samsung disappointed many fans by announcing that One UI 7.0 won't be released until early next year, alongside their new Galaxy S series phones. People had gotten used to receiving major updates from Samsung as a kind of Christmas gift, so this delay will likely leave some fans feeling frustrated. By chance, the first time we got hands-on experience with what seems to be an early version of One UI 7.0 at the Samsung Developers Conference 2024 in San Jose. While exploring the device, a brief scroll through the menus uncovered the existence of an intriguing new feature called Galaxy Artificial Intelligence, hinting at what Samsung has been working on for their upcoming software update. There are some clear changes to the user interface, which Samsung confirmed during its keynote today. However, it's obvious that this is an early version and more adjustments are likely to be made before the official launch next year. The Galaxy Avatar feature has been found in the Advanced Features menu. So far, it doesn't provide much information about what it entails, except that it will include avatar stickers and an avatar camera option, along with the ability to create new outfits for your avatar. It's still unclear whether this is a completely new take on digital avatars or just a rebranding of Samsung's current Air Emoji feature. There will likely be many more additions to One UI 7.0 as Samsung continues to develop it internally. The company has stated that this update will be a major upgrade, especially regarding the user interface. Samsung has also confirmed that the developer beta of One UI 7.0 will be released before the end of this year, so we should learn more details at that time. Here we have the first official hands-on and first look of the One UI 7. In a set of videos uploaded to YouTube, we get a look at One UI 7's new interface and redesigned features, like the app icons and notification shade. Samsung has taken the changes from last year's One UI 6 and improved them, creating a sleeker and more streamlined user experience. Samsung has also redesigned the camera app, moving most of the controls to the bottom of the screen to make it easier to use with one hand. The recent slash overview screen has also been updated and now looks similar to the app switcher on iOS. The videos also showcase the vertical app drawer, which was previously an optional feature in the home module of the GoodLock app. GoodLock allows for much more in-depth customization compared to what is normally available on Samsung phones. The settings app has also been slightly redesigned along with the battery indicator, both of which were hinted at in earlier leaks. Many of the new features like the split notification panel, the updated camera interface, and the new color theme in the gallery app seem inspired by Apple's iOS. Whether that's a good or bad thing depends on personal preference. However, as long as everything is user-friendly and functions well, most people probably won't mind having some iOS-like features on their Samsung phones. One UI 7 also seems to include smoother animations, which is another improvement that rumors had suggested. Overall, this update looks like one of the most significant in recent years, making the wait for its release even tougher. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.